हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर संगीता चौधरी एंड आई वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टू माय क्लास आज मैं बहुत दिन बाद आप लोगों से मिल रही हूँ आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल तो आज का जो टॉपिक है वो है साइनोसिस साइनोसिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द क्लिनिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू एंड साइनोसिस जो है इट इज़ अ पार्ट ऑफ द जनरल फिजिकल एग्जामिनेशन सो वेन एवर वी एग्जाम इन ए पेशेंट वी नीड टू लुक फॉर साइनोसिस तो क्या है ये साइनोसिस साइनोसिस जो है ये है ब्लूइश डिसकलरेशन ऑफ स्किन एंड म्यूकस मेम्ब्रेन तो हम जब एग्जामिनेशन करते हैं देर आर सर्टिन स्पेसिफिक साइट्स और स्पेसिफिक जगह होता है जहाँ पे वी लुक फॉर साइनोसिस साइनोसिस दो टाइप्स का होता है एक है पेरिफेरल साइनोसिस एंड द अदर वन इज सेंट्रल साइनोसिस सो वट इज़ द कॉज ऑफ पेरिफेरल साइनोसिस जस्ट टू मैंशन दैट साइनोसिस कब होता है जब the amount of reduced hemoglobin goes by फाइव or more, okay? reduced hemoglobin का concentration जब फाइव या उससे ज़्यादा होता है तभी हमको cyanosis मिलता है patient में तो in case of peripheral cyanosis क्या होता है peripheral cyanosis में arterial oxygen का जो saturation है वो normal होता है उसमें कोई problem नहीं है means arterial oxygen का saturation ठीक है but there is reduced oxygen at the venous end of capillary. That means जब blood flow होता है in the extremities, then there will be excess extraction of oxygen from the blood, which will ultimately result in increased level of reduced hemoglobin जो के patient में cyanosis जैस uh, cyanosis करेगा So this is about peripheral cyanosis जहाँ पे arterial oxygen saturation normal रहता है But because of a reduced cardiac output or maybe because of peripheral vasoconstriction, there is increased level of reduced hemoglobin in the periphery, which results in cyanosis. So, what are the sites we look for peripheral cyanosis? Okay, we need to look for uh, cyanosis, peripheral cyanosis at the tip of the nose, then ear lobule. We need to look at the outer aspect of the lips, even in the cheeks. okay then we need to look at the nail beds okay we need to look at the nails of the fingers and toes then we may look at the uh, palm and sole also for cyanosis peripheral cyanosis there are certain few important causes of peripheral cyanosis jo main aapko bataungi very importantly if there is peripheral vasoconstriction okay which may be due to exposure to cold जैसे हम रीन फिनोमिना में देखते हैं या फिर अगर पेशेंट को सर्कुलेटरी शॉक हो रहा है इफ द पेशेंट इज इन हाइपोटेंसिव शॉक ओके इन दिस केस इज ऑल्सो देर विल बी पेरिफेरल साइनोसिस नाउ कमिंग टू सेंट्रल साइनोसिस सेंट्रल साइनोसिस में क्या होता है एज द नेम सजेस्ट सेंट्रल साइनोसिस देर बी रिड्यूस्ड ऑक्सीजन सेचुरेशन एट द आर्टरियल लेवल सो आर्टरी में जो ब्लड फ्लो करता है in that itself there will be reduced level of uh, oxygen saturation resulting in increased level of reduced hemoglobin to kyu ye hota hai ye hota hai because of certain congenital diseases just for example we can say if there is a right to left shunting of blood like for example in fallot's tetralogy or in case of transposition of great arteries or maybe in case of acute pulmonary edema COPD, severe uh, exacerbation of bronchial asthma, then in case of lower pneumonia. So these are the important causes of central cyanosis, जहाँ पे arterial oxygen saturation itself कम होता है. Okay, mean that means blood is not well oxygenated. Okay, so ये हो गए causes of central cyanosis. So कहाँ पे हम central cyanosis uh, search कर सकते हैं for central cyanosis? We need to look at the tongue. Okay, especially the margins and the under surface, the beneath, uh, beneath the tongue, we can see for central cyanosis. We can also look at the mucous membrane of oral cavity. Just say that mucous membrane over the gum, then mucous membrane over the palate, mucous membrane inside the cheeks. We can see for bluish discoloration. Okay, so these are the sites where we look for central cyanosis. अदर देन दीज साइड्स जो पेरिफेरल साइनोसिस का साइड्स है वो सभी जगह पे साइनोसिस दिखेगा इन केस ऑफ सेंट्रल साइनोसिस ओके सो दीज आर ऑल साइड्स ऑफ सेंट्रल साइनोसिस 
we, there is something known as a differential cyanosis. So what is differential cyanosis? Normally cyanosis jo hota hai wo uh, hands and feet, I mean fingers and toes sabhi jaga pe dikhai deta hai. But in certain cases, we may see cyanosis only in the toes, not in the fingers. And this is known as differential cyanosis and this is typically seen in case of PDA with reversal of shunt. Okay, this is a congenital anomaly. Okay, PDA stands for patent ductus arteriosus. So, PDA with reversal of shun, we will see differential cyanosis. There is something known as a reverse differential cyanosis. So, what is it? Reverse differential cyanosis mein kya hota hai? There will be cyanosis in the upper limb. That means in the fingers there will be cyanosis. But in the toes there will be no cyanosis. Just the opposite of differential cyanosis. So, this is known as reverse differential cyanosis. In differential cyanosis, Toes mein cyanosis hota hai, fingers mein nahi hota hai. In case of reverse differential cyanosis, fingers mein cyanosis rehta hai, but toes mein nahi rehta hai. So, kaha pe milta hai reverse differential cyanosis? We get it in case of coarctation of aorta with transposition of great vessel. Okay? So, ye cause humko yaad rehna hai. Ye humko uh, competitive exam mein bohat help karega. Because these are the questions which are asked in forms of MCQ. Like, where do you get reverse differential cyanosis where do you get differential cyanosis patient ko intermittent cyanosis bhi ho sakta hai that means abhi cyanosis hai to uske baad nahi hai fir patient may develop cyanosis like that this happens typically in case of abstains anomaly okay this is also one of the congenital anomaly of the heart lastly hum kaise differentiate karenge in between central and peripheral cyanosis first of all the sites May already bol chuki hu, the sites for peripheral cyanosis and central cyanosis are different. Though in cases of central cyanosis, along with the specific sites of central cyanosis, you will also get cyanosis in the sites for peripheral cyanosis also. Okay? But in cases of peripheral cyanosis, you will not see any cyanosis or bluish discoloration in the tongue or in the mucous membrane of the oral cavity. Okay. Next point. If you give oxygen to a patient of central cyanosis, okay, if you give oxygen inhalation, then the patient will improve. Whereas in peripheral cyanosis, there will be no improvement of cyanosis. In case of central cyanosis, if you try to hold the hand of the patient, you will see that there is warmth. But in cases of peripheral cyanosis, when we try to hold the patient's hand, it will be cold. The extremities will be cold and because of peripheral vasoconstriction only patient develops peripheral cyanosis. Okay. Now in cases of central cyanosis usually patient jo hai wo dysnic hota hai, shortness of breath hota hai. But in case of peripheral cyanosis patient ko shortness of breath nahi hota hai. In case of central cyanosis the patient usually develops clubbing. Whereas in case of peripheral cyanosis patient ko clubbing nahi rehta hai. Okay. So, uh, these are the few important differentiating points between central and peripheral cyanosis. Okay. So, ye tha all about cyanosis. I have discussed about the definition of cyanosis. Cyanosis kya hota hai? Types of cyanosis. The sites where we look for cyanosis. The causes of central and peripheral cyanosis. And about differential and reverse differential cyanosis. Okay, intermittent cyanosis. And lastly, I have discussed how to differentiate between central and peripheral cyanosis. So this will be very helpful for your clinical examination of the patient and it will also be helpful in case of competitive exams also. Thank you so much for listening to my class.